Hey everyone, what's going on? Vega here for Serpent X Tech, and in this video, we're gonna be talking about T Rex Miner's latest update, allowing for users to dual mine ETH and Alephanum, as well as how to set it up on your Windows and Hive operating system. Now, the latest version of T Rex Miner is 0.25.2, uh, which added the Blake 3 algorithm for the Alephanum uh, mining, and then ETH plus Alephanum dual mining for LHR cards. Uh, but please note that solo mining Alephanum nodes is not supported. So for my solo node uh, miners that use the four addresses, T-Rex miner is not supported just yet. Uh, whether they will or not is up in the air. Uh, but this pretty much gives you everything you need to get started. Obviously, you can download the latest version for your Windows operating system. Uh, Hive has already implemented it in their OS. Uh, but first, let's talk about pools. Uh, the top pools right now are Wooly Pooly, Hero Miners, and Metapool. Now, Metapool.tech is the first pool that I, I really initially started on. I've done a number of videos on Alephana Mining, uh, but I always challenge you, the end user, to do your own research, please. Um, and Wooly Pooly is a very good pool to utilize. Hero Miners does have a discount right now to the end of February of 0% fees. And then Metapools.tech has a low fee, and they're expanding their service throughout the world. Now, you just got to choose which pools you want to mine on for Alephanum, um, and then you can choose your favorite for Ethereum. That's why miningpoolstats.stream comes in handy. You just search the coin, and then look for the pool that best suits your case, has a server near you, and doesn't have over 50% of the net hash. So you could choose Ethermine, two miners, whatever pool you want. You're just going to need the basic information, which you may already have because you do mine Ethereum already. Uh, and then you're going to want to choose the pool that you want to mine on for Alephanum. Now, uh, Wooly Pooly makes it very simple. When you go here, you just click connection, choose the address that suits you. Otherwise, they got an auto geo uh, server address and port you can utilize. Hero Miners makes it very easy. Everything is right there, nice and neat for you. And you can see, as they say here, to celebrate the launch, we offer the pool a 0% fee for the next four weeks, so to the end of February. And they even reduced the block unlock time from 500 minutes to 50 minutes in order to pay miners faster, so that's pretty nice. Uh, right now, hash rates, what I got for dual mining on this 3080 LHR card that I have here is about 700 mega hash for Alephanum, uh, 67 mega hash for Ethereum uh, with around 270 watts power draw. But we'll get into those greater details here in just a moment at the end of wrapping up our video. First off, when you download T-Rex Miner, everything is nice and neat there for you. Got preset batch files and everything. If you want to just direct mine, uh, Alephanum, you can do that with T-Rex Miner. Just choose the one that best suits, right click, edit, and then obviously you're going to update your wallet address. I tend to use the desktop wallet with a single address. You can use whichever one you want. The desktop wallet's a nice little GUI, uh, gets the job done. Um, if you did use Swagger to create your, your four individual addresses, I think you could use one of them and still be good, but I just uh, use my desktop wallet. Other users even mine directly to gate.io. Uh, but be mindful if you're not in a certain country you might get blocked got to use a VPN and other tools to get around that So just be mindful of that. But basically you put in your wallet address of your choice uh, Obviously update the server and port number in this case. This is the auto geo for Wooly Pooly so just to connect to the server closest to your location and then give your worker a good name right rig zero is just the default name that you get here make sure you go to file save as and always change the save as type to all files because you want to save it as a batch file, not a TXT or text file. Uh, if we scroll further down in the T-Rex Miner folder, you will see the section for dual mining. Now, dual mining is not new. It's just when the crypto market took a hit and depending on the current market conditions, dual mining may not be as profitable as just pointing your LHR cards to mine Ethereum. Yeah, you're taking a hit because it's, it's LHR locked, but you're still making more profits than you would dual mining ETH and some other coin. In this case, ETH and Alephanum seems to be pretty profitable uh, from my data, and I'll have a different video on that, so make sure to get subscribed. But if we right-click edit that particular batch file, ETH plus Alephanum, you'll see that it's pretty much set up all ready for us. So we got the first algo, ETH hash. We got the second algo, Blake 3. Then we have the server address right here that's on two miners. And then we have the wallet address. Just change the wallet and the server. So make sure that you're connecting to the pools you want and that you have your wallet in there, not the default 
uh, one because then you're mining to somebody else's and that they're you're, you know your money becomes their money or your profits become their profits make sure you update the rig name and then here we got URL 2 for the second server address for Alephinum and then the Alephinum wallet address so right here Alephinum wallet address this one the Ethereum wallet address and then the top ones the Ethereum server and port bottom one is the Alephinum server and port you just change that information around uh, to match what you want hit file save as once again make sure you change the type save that batch file and I always save it as a different name you can see down here I got two files and the reason I do that is because I don't want to get it mixed up with anything else but also because I do testing I don't like testing with my own address I just mine to the default address get the data hash rates and all that good stuff and then kind of go from there which is why you see that uh, you know 700 mega hash for 11 of mining when this card can do about 1.2 giga hash direct mining alephinum i think 1.2 maybe 1.4 somewhere in there giga hash uh direct mining um and then as far as ethereum mining it only gets about 72 at the power draw or the tdp of 63 percent it gets about 72 to 74 mega hash so it's not too far off while dual mining and i'm also getting some alephinum in the process so that is a benefit and i have seen from my own testing uh, the profitability is really good, which is why I'm going to make a different video or a separate video on that. As far as getting set up on Hive, uh, basically what we have here, uh, Hive sets it up nice and neat for you. You should already have your Ethereum address added to your wallets. If not, go to your wallets, add your Ether address. It's just basically choose the ticker, put your wallet address, give it a name. Same thing for Alephinum. Choose the Alephinum ticker, give it an address, give it a name. Save that. And then here in the flight sheet, we're just going to choose ETH as the main ticker. Then we're going to add our wallet. Then we're going to choose our pool. We can choose whatever pool we want, Ethermine, two miners, whatever it may be. A window will pop up. So select the server closest to you or best for your location. And then for miner, we're going to choose T-Rex miner. And as I said um, in the past, make sure to go to set up miner config. Sometimes it says the latest and I've seen Hive actually choose like two versions ahead. So you can actually click this drop down and just choose 0.25.2 and then hit apply changes now for dual coin same thing click it go to alf choose your wallet for your alf and then you can choose the pool again when you choose the pool of your choice you will see that all the servers pop up just choose best for your location or your area and then intensity i like to keep it at 22 but some people like 20 21 some people increase it more but 22 for me is the sweet spot so it just depends on your system and config then give your flight sheet a name and create this flight sheet and you are good to go you'll be up in mining dual mining with your lhr cards now for people that have mixed rigs um and, and you're utilizing hive you're going to have to separate the gpus the non the full hash rate from the uh, light hash rate cards so that way those cards can run on one flight sheet for dual mining while the other cards run on a normal um, otherwise it, it can give you issues if you have a mixed rig if you don't have a mixed rig you just got all the same cards or close to the same cards and they're all LHR anyways, then there's really no problem. Uh, AMD GPUs seem to have issues inside Hive. I'll have a different video about that particular uh, situation because I noticed Hive is using a older AMD driver. So the 6000 series is not getting its full hash rate. So I would use my AMD mix rig on Windows mining Alephinum while I use my NVIDIA system on Hive just to get the maximum hash rate, best efficiency, so on and so forth. Uh, but that's a different video for a different day. Besides that, that's going to do it for me today. Please let me know your thoughts of T-Rex Miner adding dual mining for ETH and Alephinum. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Give me reasons why, uh, for and against. And you all have yourself a wonderful day. Make sure you check out the uh, links in the description. Make sure you hit the like button on the way out. Make sure you get subscribed and hit the notification bell to stay up to date. And I will leave you to it. Take care. I'll catch you next one.